Hey guys, Dr. Mike Hansen here and welcome to another video. This one I want to talk about things that are sort of secretly toxic to your liver that most people don't really think about. Things that are hidden in certain foods, the added sugar that ends up being toxic liver if you eat too much. Typically for adults, if you're eating more than 25 grams of added sugar per day, that's when it starts to get bad for you. Ketchup, for example, is pretty much sugar. It's a little bit of tomato flavoring with mostly added sugar. If you look at the ingredients there, that's four grams of added sugar out of total five, and that's per one serving. So one tablespoon is four grams of added sugar. So you can see that it's easy to start really getting high in your added sugar uh, with such a small, such a concentrated amount of ketchup. Another example of this would be barbecue sauce. And in this one I have sweet red chili sauce, which is mostly sugar. Total carbs, 16 grams, added sugar, 15 grams. So 15 out of those 16 grams are added sugar. And that's in two tablespoons of this. And this is just a small sample size. About 70% of the food on the grocery store shelves contains added sugar, even the healthy kombucha juice. Added sugar is glucose and fructose, and usually it's more fructose than glucose. Now there's lots of reasons why fructose ends up being toxic in our body, especially in the liver. Just take a look at how fructose is metabolized and the byproducts that stem from it. This is obviously a complicated diagram to look at, but there are some important focal points. One is that fructose metabolism increases uric acid production, which means less nitric oxide production, which means the blood pressure starts to go up. The second major issue is that it raises the bad cholesterol. The third major issue is that it leads to fat storage both inside and outside the liver. And the fourth major issue is that you have increased inflammation in the body. The fifth major issue is that it stimulates insulin release from the pancreas. And the sixth major issue is that it leads to leptin resistance. Now leptin is the hormone that makes you feel full. So when this happens, you get the cravings, especially the cravings for guess what? More sugar, and then the cycle continues. If this continues on over time, insulin resistance, it gets worse and worse, and inflammation in the liver, it gets worse and worse. And then more fat is deposited in the liver and you get fatty liver disease. Now, sometimes fatty liver disease that leads to cirrhosis and then people die unless they get a liver transplant. Essentially, the effect of fructose on the liver is very similar to alcohol's effect on the liver. And check out this study that was done in 2019. It showed that fructose decreases mitochondrial function. Now, why is that important? Mitochondria are called the powerhouses of our cells for a reason. They're the organelles in your cells that provide your energy, your stamina. Now, for example, exercise, it increases the size and the number of mitochondria to improve your stamina. When you're short of breath from exerting yourself, it's because your diaphragm, it tires out. But your diaphragm has better stamina over time if you engage in regular exercise because of those mitochondria increasing in both size and number. But the food that you eat also affects them for better or worse. So processed food, which has lots of added sugar, ends up hurting our mitochondria, and that's what makes us feel tired and lethargic. So if you feel tired, fatigued, or lethargic, cut out the processed food, which means cut out the added sugar, and you'll get more energy.